Hello everyone, here we are again at the 1965 Field and Stream Travel Trailer Restoration. And uh, as you can see, it looks a lot different than last video. Um, we have now painted it, took off all the trim, and uh, polished that up. And we're in the process of putting the trim back. The windows also came out, everything came out and we polished everything up. So. Um, we have a friend working on the trailer with us. He's been doing most of the work. And his name is Clay. And there he is. Hi, Clay. Hey. How are you doing? Good. How are you? <laughs> it's uh, So tell the, everyone what you've been doing here for the last few weeks. <laughs> okay. So we painted it basically, and then we took off all the windows. Mm -hmm. took out, we, shined, we, we took out all the um, corrosion off the windows, and then... We resealed it using silicone around the edges. Okay. Like the front window, we had to reframe it. So from the inside, we put in a new header, a new footer, and put in some strut supports. Right. So that we could actually bolt in the new the, the window again. Okay. We resealed that. Then we removed all the trim, the old trim that was here, all the way around on all the different corners. And then uh, Bridget got a bunch of new trim. So then uh, the last time I was here, I had to you kind of have to bend it all to the you know the correct radiuses and all that good stuff how so did you do yeah. that yeah well at first i started out using a heat gun i don't recommend that um we we were recommended maybe try that out and i did the problem with doing it that way was that in order to have it on the ground heat it up and get the correct angle i had to go basically back and forth and that piece goes from here all the way around to the other side. Mm -hmm. So it's a really long piece. Yeah. So unfortunately, it took so long just to get this one radius. When I got to the edge, I figured, well, let me just try it by hand. Uh -huh. It worked beautifully. So if you do do this, what you need to do is put a screw in to hold it. When you get to the radius, you need to go to. And then just take your thumbs and bend it as you go. Put a screw in. Bend it as you go. Put another screw in. Mm -hmm. You'll get it perfect. Wonderful. So, what kind of, did you use uh, butyl tape or what kind of, right. or putty? Okay, so after I got all of them bent, I just let them sit there and hang. Today, I took them all off, and then I used the butyl tape right here. So I used the butyl tape. Yeah. I cut it in half so that it would fit right behind all the screw holes all the way up. Mm -hmm. on the back side mm -hmm. and then that will seal up all of where your seams come together on your outer skin okay so now that's all sealed up and then the next thing i'm going to do is take uh the white silicone sealant and put it in this edge here and run it all up through so it looks nice and pretty great great now the silicone sealant i think we got something a little different yes we did um let me see i think it's right in the garage let me find it <laughs> as uh yeah, it's right on the table there. Yes. This was recommended because it's got, you can do it with soap and water and it's very easy. So let's see the front you of that. You see that right there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so as you can see, this is actually a polyurethane sealant. Uh -huh. The nice thing about that is they say you can put it into, so for instance, you can put it into your grooves and cracks. Uh -huh. Then you take like a soap and water mixture and you can use your finger and actually smooth it right in. Oh, great. So that you get a nice smooth bond instead of like fingerprints and streak marks all over. Mm-hmm. Okay. So this should make it look just smooth. And fill in all the extra spaces. Right. And what did he say about underneath the window? Yeah, now under the window, that's right. That's a good point. Up here we're going to use it, and then on the sides. But the bottom edge we're going to leave open, kind of like a drip. Okay, like if you uh, like a uh, weep screen on a house, uh -huh. it'll be the same way underneath all your windows. Leave it open because in case any moisture does get behind there or from the inside, it can weep out the bottom. Great, great. Okay, so what's our next step after the... Well, right now, I'm just taking our little handy tool and cleaning out some of the grooves. Oh, okay. So I can do can the, you show uh, us how you do that real sure. quick? Sure, come on over. So what I want to do is I want to get it to where I've got a nice open area. Okay, right let me get a better... Yeah, yeah, I think so. So I want to get an open area between the actual skin and the new trim. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing is I'm just going through and putting everything in like this. This is just a little scraper. It right. doesn't cut anything, and it's safe for the skin and the paint. Good. So now I've got a little well. Uh huh. Now I can actually put that uh, sealant right in there, smooth it down, and it'll just seal up everything on that outer edge. Great. 
Well, thank you, Clay, and we're going to come back yeah. and do another part here soon. We'll get to the next step, which might be the countertop or something like that. Yeah, yeah, I've got a few fun projects coming up. Okay, perfect. Thanks. Okay.